guys in there uh, previously? Yeah, no. Um, so we had played them in the playoffs a couple of years ago. And, uh, you know, they're, they were a hell of a team then. And they're a hell of, we're a hell of a team now. Um, but, yeah, no, um, I know a couple guys. I used to uh, play against Monte growing up, both Michigan guys. So, yeah. Did you reach out to Gary uh, ask what it was like here? Yeah, I've talked to Gary a lot of times about it. Yeah, that's my guy. That's my guy. Uh, obviously, you did not, not the shooting that you would like tonight, but yeah. what, did you, uh, what, are you, what are you excited about for, for being on the team to start? Man, um, like I said, just a just a you know class act organization and and very talented team. You know, um, I'm excited to see what we can do. Um, you know, I feel like I fit pretty well here, and I'm just excited to keep moving forward. Chris, how much of the, the plays can you master in, in one shoot around? <laughs> um, Any of it? No, honestly, the the plays aren't too complex you know i think in basketball there's only so many plays that you can have so there's a lot of similar plays it's just the the dialogue and the the names of plays and and what they call certain things that um i have to you know get used to and remember so i think it's more you know just the names of things and what they call it and you know the lingo they use here i think I, that's the only thing i really gotta get used to what was your first impression Yeah. Hell of a passer, you know, just always be ready to, you know, catch and attack and shoot. Um, you know, he sees you even when you don't think he sees you. So, you know, um, great player, great player. Why, why did you tell uh, Coach Malone my bad as, as you were walking up? Uh, I think probably because I, I know I'm better than I played tonight. You know, it's kind of frustrating for me, you know, just personally. Um, but yeah, you know, I, th I think I got a lot more in me than that. But yeah. Sure, you said you're excited to come here when the new pro. Mm -hmm. Where do you see this your role, your lane being, um, and fitting presumably with that second unit? Um, you know, pride myself for for hitting shots and playing hard. So you know, I think I'm gonna hit shots at a high clip. I always have. Um, you know, and just play as hard as I can on both ends. Can you share a little bit of a kinship with Boogie? Room here? Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure how he feels about it right now, but um, you know, I'm just trying to um, catch on and, and and fit in, and you know, get in where I fit in, and and figure this thing out. Last year, you won a championship with Milwaukee. You've been mm -hmm. a part of San Antonio for a greater part of five years. Yeah. You've been a part of two championship caliber organizations. What do you think you can bring with with those experiences to your second year? Um. You know, I saw what it took to win a championship. That's um, that was a great experience. You know, learned a lot of things last year. Um, played with other great players, Giannis, Chris, Drew. Um, just saw how they did things and approached the game, and you know, just bringing that that same mentality with me. So. Hi, Green from Cordoba, Argentina. In San Antonio, you play with Manu and Tony, now here with Facu and Nicola, great passers of the ball. How important is it for a shooter like you have that kind of teammate with this ability, this special talent? Um, you know, it makes my life a lot easier. I love playing with guys that are that great facilitators and um, see the court well. And both of them, you know, Nicola and uh, and Faku, can uh, pass the hell out of the ball. You know, him him just like Nicola, like you you think he doesn't see you, and the ball's in your hands the next second. So, I think just staying ready to shoot um, would help me. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Thank you.